Hi, it's Kiwi Mace, and today I'm checking out the top five new features of version five of Flight Control Replay. It's just been released. Check out the link down in the description if you want to pick it up. Big thanks to Fabio over there at Flight Control Replay for hooking me up with this early copy so I can show you what it's all about. Let's get straight into it. Number one is the new user interface you can see here. Uh, for those of you that do already have the program, you'll be able to tell that straight away. But uh, there's a few new features in terms of the UI that just make it a little bit better. Uh, now, I'm uh, recording this on 1440p, so you're probably best to look at this in full screen, just so you know. Otherwise, it's going to be very, very small. Uh, but if we go ahead, you can see it's a brand new look and feel to the uh, UI. It also gives you an option to change the size of the UI. So you've got this little clicky button up here you go ahead you can do a mini version you can do a medium sort of vision version with the, the main buttons here and then a large version uh, it's also included a uh, skip to the end and skip to the start of the recording which makes it nice and easy the other thing with the UI, UI that he's done is gone ahead and given you a transparency mode so if I go ahead and click the transparency mode down below save and close there we go as you can see uh, the background is now transparent, so it uh, just makes it easier to see things on your screen. Feature number two is the ability to control it from your toolbar. So if we go up to our toolbar, and there it goes, the icon for Flight Control Replay. We go ahead and click that, and it comes up with an internal Microsoft Flight Simulator panel right here. It's got all the buttons that you'd, uh, you'd expect there for... Uh, the program, uh, your options, you're going to have to go into the main program. However, it's got everything here you want to do, including the ghost plane, which I'm going to show you very, very soon. Uh, and a few of the other options here, you are able to record, stop, play, and do all that sort of thing. So there it goes, sitting in there nice and easily. So if you want to put it out of the road, you can do that and put it up at the top of your screen. And then obviously uh, look to uh, extend it out. So another little feature there, integrated into your Microsoft Flight Simulator toolbar. Okay, on to the third new feature, and this one is pretty cool. I'm uh, cruising along here at high speed in my Hawk across the farmlands of central North Island in New Zealand. And we're just going to cruise up here and press the ghost plane icon right there. And suddenly, there it is, I have now got a wingman. And so the ghost plane feature is uh, a pretty nifty little thing. And so what it will do is you can actually tell it, and I'll show you in a minute in the options, you can tell it where to place the ghost plane and it will basically follow the track that you are flying. Now it won't follow it exactly. So you can see little movements and altitude as the weather and the turbulence takes hold of that individual aircraft. So there will be little changes just to add to that realism. So it's not mirroring your aircraft exactly. So if we go up into the options, you do have the ability here to change a few of the options. You probably need to view this in full screen, by the way, uh, given that this is 1440p. Uh, but if we go to Ghost Plane, uh, you've got an opportunity here to change the distance offset. At the moment, I've got 0.02 of a nautical mile. And so if you want it a bit closer, you can do that. If you want it further away on your formation, you can do that. Also, altitude offset. At the moment, I've got it set to zero, which means it's going to fly at the same level that I'm flying at. And the final one is the offset degrees. I've got that at 90 degrees there uh, from me in terms of relative uh, position. You can change that to a bunch of different uh, positions right there depending on where you want your ghost plane to fly. So if you want a bit of company when you're up there flying by yourself, or you want to uh, make a video of some formation flying, there you go, you have the ability to do it. Okay, the fourth new feature, you can see right in front of me here, I've got the Phoenix A320 and the Flight Control Replay version 5 now supports that aircraft. It also supports the PMDG 737. I know a lot of you are out there creating videos or just doing your own thing with those particular payware aircraft, so you've now got full compatibility, which uh, definitely helps. Okay, the fifth awesome new feature on Flight Control Replay version 5 is the Cinematic Replay. It allows you to automatically change cameras as you are playing the replay. And you can change the length of time between the camera shifts. Let me show you right here on this takeoff for the A320. We'll go ahead, we'll enable cinematic, press play. And you can see uh, exactly how this works as we uh, rocket down the runway here. 23 left in Auckland. Okay, landing gear is going up a little bit slow there, to be fair, but uh, there you go. 
flight control replay everybody version 5 go check it out down in the description a heap of great new features thanks very much for watching subscribe if you're new and until next time take it easy